All right, guys, I picked up this Syntec portable jump pack from Harbor Freight. Um, the last one I had was an Everstart from Walmart, um, which worked pretty good as a jump pack. I mainly used it as a battery bank, to be honest. But uh, I ran over the air compressor cord, so the air compressor was useless. <clears throat> and then the battery finally died after a couple years. So I was really in need of something else. Um, Harbor Freight has two versions, one for 59 uh, that doesn't have the air compressor and one for 69 that does and i was kind of looking at those and i was like man for 10 bucks if that air compressor comes in clutch you know two or three times over the life of this thing then it's worth it um the only problem with the air compressor is it does make the jump box a good bit bigger um, the jump box without the air compressor was like half this width let's see what we got in here Oh, it's definitely fairly heavy. Oh, does it have a work light on it too? Looks like it does. So we got 900 peak amps, 250 max PSI on that air compressor. That seems kind of crazy for an air compressor this small. So if you get just the jump box, guys, it won't have any of this back piece that holds the air compressor. It'll just be this. So it's it's definitely a lot smaller, but yeah, so there's all kinds of signs on it that say charge fully before use or anytime the yellow light's on or after every jump start or at least once a month. So, um, but it also says don't charge over the recommended charge time, which is 48 hours. It says it could take 48 hours to charge this all the way up, guys. Seems kind of crazy to me that it could take two days to charge this box. I mean, you can charge automotive batteries way quicker than that. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, kind of bummed out that it doesn't have the AC port on it. I believe my Everstart did, but uh, it still has the USB and two 12 volts, and I have other boxes if I need to power something with AC. Um, this box is really gonna be just used mostly as an emergency jump box. 900 peak amps should do anything I need to do. Um, get back here, there's the charge port. Um, it's got this little uh, like cover for the on off switch, which I've never seen on one before. Um, I could see that annoying me and me ripping it off. It's It's got the uh, gauge right there for the air. You get into your air stuff right here. Um, this is what I ran over on my Everstart. I, le I actually left this hooked up to my wheel and then started to back the vehicle up and it wrapped it up and broke it. Um, so you got a needle and two plastic pieces so you can inflate like, you know, rubber inflatables and stuff. So that looks good. Um, here's the charge cord. I don't know if I lost the one that came with my Everstart or if the Everstart didn't come with one or what, but I had to use a regular like extension cord with that forever. And let me tell you, not all cords will fit all the way onto these prongs. Like, see how this one's made? Like it, it fits okay but not all of them will fit. So that made it kind of a pain. So I gotta make sure I do not lose this one. Uh, yeah, so the clamps are nice. They're a rubbery plastic feel, <clears throat> but there is a lot of rubber around the uh, copper clamps, which can sometimes make it a pain to get in tight areas or on small clamps. Um, but I don't think they'll be too bad. Um, it says that when you hook this up to a vehicle, you should turn it on and wait five minutes. It says if you don't wait five minutes, the vehicle won't start. Um, so I guess it's just trying to do a little charging before it, it just wants you to charge it a little before you hit the start button. Um, also, you don't connect this to the negative battery terminal on the vehicle. You connect it to a piece of metal, uh, something you can ground it. You just ground it out to something, um, which I also thought was interesting. 
USB port. It doesn't tell you the amps. It probably tells you sometime, somewhere in the instructions. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get this thing charging. And uh, after I use it a couple times, I'll do another video. Keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.